Up next for PostgreSQL security best practices is authorization. Once the user has been properly authenticated, you must grant him or her permissions to view data and perform work in the database. But always, always use the principle of least privilege and grant only those permissions required for a specific user to perform their job. And you can manage users and groups in PostgreSQL via role assignments. A role may refer to an individual user or to a group of users. In Postgres, roles are created at the cluster or database server level. This means roles are available for all databases defined for the cluster or the database server. It's really important to limit role privileges appropriately. Now, permissions can be applied to database objects, to rows inside of tables, and to data reduction policies. Now, data reduction policies are available in EDB Postgres Advanced Server only. Permissions are defined in terms of read access, write access, or the right to create or delete objects in the database. To learn more about authorization, download our white paper, Security Best Practices for PostgreSQL, and stay tuned for our next episode, where we'll review auditing. Use Postgres, get stuff done.